Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Um, today we're going to keep going on the um, posting groups. Uh, this is, uh, I think, number four on the posting group uh, sequence. Uh, it's a super important topic, so I'm going to make uh, a few of these. Uh, it's sort of like the foundations of NAV. If you don't know posting groups, um, you'll never fully understand how things flow in the system. Uh, so it's uh, the ABCs. Uh, you got to know your ABCs. And uh, what I'm going to touch on today is um, still I'm still going on the balance sheet posting groups, the the entity posting groups, customer posting group, vendor posting group, etc. But I'm dialing in on the bank posting group or the bank account posting group. So here we can see um, the entity posting groups. We have, like I said before, customer posting group posting the accounts receivable part to the balance sheet, vendors, the account payable, accounts payable to balance sheet, items, the inventory um, valuation, basically. To the balance sheet and then the bank of course the balance of the bank uh, to the balance sheet so these are all tied with the uh, with posting groups um, and uh, basically what I wanted to talk about specifically in this video is how we set up the bank posting group because that is a little bit different or actually a lot different than the customer vendor and items um, so if I go in here into uh, an AV and I go into cash management and I take a look at the bank account, for example, the operating bank account. Uh, I can see that the bank account posting group for here is called operating and it's putting everything into 20 to 100. Um, and so you might think, well, if we have two operating accounts, we could put both of those operating accounts into 20 to 100 and just have the bank, you know, post directly through there. And uh, because that would be a sensible thinking or a similar thinking to customers. If I have domestic customers, I put them all into the domestic um, uh, posting group and that posts all into accounts receivable. So you group them together. But with, uh, with respect to bank accounts, you can't do that. Uh, it's, it's a big no-no, actually. And there is a there's only one serious reason why and I'm going to show you why because uh, I can't just tell you not to do it without explaining, right? So if I go into the bank account reconciliation or bank recs uh, and I've created here one for the operating account and here we have the standard bank reconciliations and I actually have a video on that uh, for I think 2015 version uh, which I feel like I need to redo one of these days. Uh, but in any case, uh, in the bank account reconciliations, once you're reconciling the bank to, um, you know, to your statement, to the bank account statement, uh, it actually does a little bit more than that. So if I go ahead here and into actions and hit test report and preview, so it's actually running a test report on the current bank rack, telling you the status of this bank rack, whether you've balanced it out or not. And uh, there's a reason why I'm bringing it up here, because it clearly shows you um, what's going on. So in here, I can see, for example, balance let statement, things like that. And the important part here is GL balance is 561,000. GL balance, okay? So even though we're reconciling the statement of the bank to the bank ledger entries, NAV likes to reconcile it also to the GL. And if you had two banks going into the same GL, then you would never be able to reconcile one bank to the GL um, unless there's no transactions in the other bank account or something like that. Uh, you would have obvious problems. So this is a key aspect. So you would have to set up a separate posting group for each one of the bank accounts uh, going into a separate GL account. 
Uh, and that is actually set up like that in standard NAV or in the, the Kronos database. But nowhere does it really tell you that this is the case. So people that might set up the system might uh, have a, frega, a rather inconvenient realization when they start reconciling their banks and nothing matches out if they actually did group them together. Um, so I hope you learned something from this. Uh, it's a pitfall to avoid. Uh, if you like this, hit thumbs up uh, on the video and or subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And thanks very much.